inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright So we're going to uh, attempt to wrap these ones, we're just going to do these in matte black. So obviously first of all as always we're just going to clean the surface with an alcohol wipe. Let's get that nice and clean. So as with any wrapping, nice warm dry days always the best. Obviously the, the aid of heat and stuff like that always helps. We're not professional wrappers so bear with me on this one. I'm only attempting as it's a nice small piece. So we'll just get that nice and cleaned up and then we'll just wait for that to evaporate off. So obviously, we sell with these wrapping kits as well, so you can choose that as an option. Uh, let's get rid of all that moisture. So once that's all dried off, we're just gonna peel it and go for it. So, I'm gonna peel half of the vinyl off first and just start on one bit. So obviously with that, pull that back and we're just going to lay it amply over there and just start playing. So obviously with anything, work from the middle outwards. Don't worry if you get some little air bubbles at this point because you can always pull them out at a later date. And we're just going to go on and just rub that across as best we can. So you can see there, that's gone on quite well. Once we've got that bit there stuck, so obviously there's going to get no bits underneath it, we're going to fold that back and we're just going to peel the other end off. Just like so. We're just going to hold this taut. We're just going to pull it over and start. So obviously if you do get any wrinkles like that, just pull it back, start again. And we'll just work our way across. Okay guys, so we've got the surface on. So we just keep pulling it back, like I say, you do have loads of attempts at this, like I say, if you do get bubbles or creases like these around the edges, which you're going to, so you basically see where that bubble is there, we're just going to peel it back and just pull it tight around like that and obviously rub down. It's all air release vinyl so it does come out quite well. So once you've got it at that stage and you've got all that on, I'm just going to get my assistant here to get some heat on us. So basically we're just going to warm up this, so we'll start on this edge because it's probably the easiest. Now as you can see I've cut it so there's an overlap, so when it wraps around there it gives a nice neat edge there and it's not going to peel at a later date. So once it's warm you can see there and now how it's going, compared to this thick brittle it goes really soft so it's literally just a case of peel it around, stick it on the back, just make sure it's tight. So you can see there where it's just pulled, you're just going to pull it back up a little bit and just tuck it round, just like that. So we won't do the ends yet, so it's going to have to be peeled off. So you do have a good few attempts at this, because like I say it does peel and go back on. So we'll get that down and then we're just going to stick it all on the back to make sure and what we'll do after is once that's all stuck down we'll just trim it nicely with a blade so the top edge now obviously this bit's going to be on show a little bit so this is the bit where we want to make sure we pull everything nice and tight so obviously same again just going to pull it round don't worry about these corners we'll go back to those and we're just going to get that so obviously once you get to these bits I'll just get a bit more warmth on that Once you get to these bits, you can see once you warm it and pull it, all those creases will just disappear. Like I say, if you do get some it, peel it back, start again. A bit warm here. As you can see there, once it goes nice and supple, I'm just going to peel it back, 
pull it round and you can see there it's gone all crease so again peel it off pull it back round so obviously when you get a big bit like that it's gonna pull it over tuck it in and the further you get it you'll find just get that bit off there may be different ways you need to pull it so obviously whichever stretches that out so you can see there that's quite a bad one but you can see it just pulls out and we'll keep them all tucked in on to the end like that so on these end pieces here you can see it is, it's going both ways basically, so that's why I've left it till the end. So what you're going to do is you're just going to peel that back up a little bit. Don't worry if you crease it all. And you're just going to get that end there and you're just going to pull it nice and tight and tuck it under. The same with that one. As you can see there, it just pulls around both nicely. Now you're going to get a little bit of an excess there, there's no way you can avoid that. Like I say, it's doubling over. But basically guys, that's it. Once you've got it like that, again, just make sure the back, because this is a bit that's going to stick to your car. We're just going to go all the way around that. Loads of heat. And we're just going to push it into all those grooves. And again there. Just so basically you've got a nice flat surface. So guys, you saw me wrap them all. So obviously I folded all this round. Uh, got it as flat as I can. And then basically just trimmed all the excess there. So obviously once they're sealed on, these edges are never going to peel because obviously it's folded around the back so once that's stuck to the ad light we're in okay guys so we've got them all wrapped uh, we're just going to apply the 3m tape and some people choose to bond these on some double-sided tape them that's up to you how you want to adhere them so what we're going to do is just going to put some of this double-sided on just around the edge so what you're going to have to do because you're going to get it to curve is you're just going to put it on flat like that just get the blade and then what you've got to do is just cut a little incision across it so you can just twist it over and keep it like this once it gets to the edge like that slip stretch that over just so it'll lie flat again and go across like I say you don't want any bubbles in these because obviously a double layer of this will make them set off so every time you get to an edge like that, you're just going to put a slit down it. So it won't matter what you're cutting into because it's just the back of the thing. Just twist it over just so it fits like that. And then trim. There you go. And then same again around the bottom. So we'll go there until we hit the edge. A little slice so we can turn it and across there. So if you want to go the other way again, just put it slice down where it's over, pull it back and turn it. And you can see there that'll all follow. And just a nice slice along there. So there you can see, obviously we're going to get the air dryer on this and obviously we're going to make it absolutely flat, make it all dead tacky, etc. And then it's just a case of applying it to the car. So we'll do the other one and then we'll go outside and apply them. So guys, we've got them all wrapped. Obviously double sided tape was all I did. So basically now all it is is peel the tape. And you're just going to angle them in like that. So basically, once those are stuck down, that is it. So what a transformation. I mean, these are a bit marmite. We've had people say, oh, I'm not sure on them. And then we've had other people say, I love them. They're absolutely brilliant. So they are a bit of a marmite thing. Like I say, uh, you can wrap them whatever colour you want. Like I say, uh, paint them, wrap them, do whatever you like. You could even skin them in carbon fibre if you wanted to. So there you go, guys. You can find these on our website, www kilochrome.co.uk thanks for watching like and subscribe etc